Hey, this is Jeremy. I want to show you a feature in GMAF. It's the speech to math feature. Supposedly it only works in Chrome. And also it only works in Google Documents, not Google Spreadsheets. So just remember that. So it's a little confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's not too bad. You just have to talk in a specific kind of cool robotic way. So I'm going to show you a couple of equations here. We got 5x to the third power plus 9. So let's try that. I'm going to mess up first on purpose and then show you the right way to do it. So I'm going to click on the little microphone icon over here. 5x to the third power plus 9. Bam. I'm going to pause it and look at our equation. Oh, man. It's a little screwed up. Uh, so that's not cool. So I'm going to clear it. Now listen to how I say it. 5x power 3 plus 9. Okay, then we're almost there. So I got 5x power 3, but the plus 9 is up there with the 3. Oh man, we don't want that. So we need to fix it a little bit. So notice that there's two ways to fix it. I could just go into the actual latex code here and put a curly brace here, bam, just to get that nine off of the three. So the right order of operations, right? So if I take that curly brace off, then it gets stuck up there with the three. We don't want that. So let's go back and do it the right way using our speech. Now listen for the key word here. 5x power three stop plus nine. Bam, did I do it? Yes, so we had to say that secret stop word. So 5x power 3 stop plus 9 gives us our equation, okay? Then you can just insert that into your sheet and you're ready to rock. So let's do the second equation here. This one I picked because it has a fraction. So let's see how fractions work. Fraction 3x divided by 6 plus 7. So I said that one way and obviously we have a mess here. It doesn't recognize the divided word. Um, so you don't want to say that. So listen for the correct keyword here. Fraction 3x over 6 stop plus 7. Bam, did I do it? Oh, it said 60, but we're getting closer here. Here, let me try it one more time here. Fraction 3x over 6 stop plus 7. All right, let's see how I did this time. Bam, nailed it. So obviously the first keyword is fraction. You need to say fraction at the beginning and then your numerator, the 3x. Then to get to the denominator, you say over 6. And then I said stop to uh, finish the fraction and then added 7 at the end to get this expression right here. All right, let's go to our final expression, which is this equation y equals 3x plus 5 over 2. Um, this one's kind of a doozy, but I can show you how to fix it. So here we go. y equals 3x plus fraction 5 over 2 stop. And I almost got it. Uh, I'm not sure if this is part of programming error or what's going on, but I can't get that 2 to go into the denominator. But luckily, it's easy to fix it. So I got the y equals 3x plus 5 over 2 in numerator. Just make sure to add those curly braces. Bam, like that. Whoops. So curly brace, uh, get rid of the division symbol, add another curly brace for the 2 and I get the five over two. So then you can insert that. Okay, so those are some tips and tricks on using the speech to math feature in GMath. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll help you out.